equally, people can be very, very unhappy at seeing friends change and grow because it often highlights their yep. lack of change yep. and their lack of growth. What would you say to people who have a desire to make change in their life but don't necessarily have that support, that community, and yep. they've got that fear of, of the um, being ostracized for doing it? First of all, um, I want to express deep compassion because uh, that has, uh, you said I studied what I lacked. Um, and so, yes, when you, it, w when you undertake this, um, and again, this isn't like, you know, uh, you know, a slot machine, put the thing in and pull the lever or something like that. But, um, when you undertake this kind of journey, you, yeah, you will lose, you will lose relationships. I don't want to, I don't want to mince that at all. I have. I have a marriage, right? It's, and that's not to make myself heroic. I also did shitty things that caused the demise. Okay. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to avoid responsibility, but it's fair to say that was also a factor. I can say that, I think, honestly. And I think the person who was involved would say that honestly too. Um, so, and you know, you, you can, uh, and, and, there, and, and that's a difficult thing we sometimes face in our relationships when we realize that, you know, there is a, 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 significant, a, a significant differential in our growth arcs, that, and that can be extremely, and I think that's not recognized enough as a problem in our relationships. And the problem is because of the decadent romanticism in our culture, we basically try to turn our romantic rel relationships into a religion. Um, and so we put tremendous pressure on them, they, and they, they really can't bear it. They really can't bear it, and we should stop doing that. We need other things. Um, and I'm guilty of that, too. I, 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 I Again, I'm guilty of that too. I, um, I do it. I, I've done it recently, and it, it's been problematic. And I have to take a step back and go, "Oh crap, I'm doing that." I speak about this, and you know, here I am doing it, right? And so all of this stuff is going to. It's yeah, you're going to lose relationships. Um, but what seems to be the case is, you will, you will gain a. And I'm playing on this word. I want it to mean both meanings. You will gain virtuosity, and that virtuosity will allow you to discern, but also attract to you the kind of people who are also seeking virtuosity. Um, and so different kinds of relationships will become available um, to you. And, and it takes and and. And I'm, and I'm sorry, it, it takes longer than the lifetime of a movie. That's the problem with movies. It's, they, we feel wonderful because it only takes two hours for things to be resolved. And this can be years in the making. Um, but you will also find friendship where you might not have found it before. You might find you might you might befriend your body and your mind in a way you haven't before. I have a wooden sword I do Tai Chi with, and I have befriended that. I have learned how to more deeply befriend Socrates and Spinoza. Um, um, so some of the friendships will be ones that or might not be sort of with, um, living people, but they'll nevertheless be living relationships for you. And that is not paradoxical or self-contradictory. Um, and then hopefully, again, this is not deterministic, but it does increase the probability that you will more likely come into the kind of relationship um, it, that is supportive of you cultivating wisdom. I think that's one of the that's one of the defining differences between buddies and friends. We call a lot of people our friends, but they're not. They're our buddies. A buddy is somebody you enjoy doing something with, and you should have buddies. That's good. That's why we have this term. A friend is somebody that is committed to you becoming wiser, and you are committed to them becoming wiser. And that's a different thing entirely. And you will increase your chance of real friendship. So you might find, I, again, I can't promise you that there isn't an algorithm here, a magical formula, but I, I have found and I've seen it in others that you get a trade-off. You know, the quantity of relationships diminishes, whereas the quality of them improves. Um, and so some of it takes you, actually, instead of finding a community, sometimes you have to make it. Um, also, so 
it can be lonely and it can be alienating, but it can also, in, if pursued with a, a genuine love, it can, it can be liberating. It can liberate you and put you into real relationships with real patterns and real people in real ways. So that's what I have to say about that. Oh,